What's going on everybody? Eric here from Around To It RC and today I'm going to show you the inside of my Blade 350QX quadcopter. Now to get the quadcopter to this point it takes a couple of steps and we're going to go over that real quick. First thing you have to do is take the prop off of each of the brushless motors and each prop is held on with two machine screws. You're going to need a two millimeter tool to take those screws out and then you better have eaten your lunch first before you go to this next step because to get the body halves apart you have to take out 32 1.5 millimeter hex head screws. Man that's a lot of screws. Anyway we got the quadcopter apart now so let's go ahead and look at the electronics. Now the first thing that I've noticed after taking it apart uh, everything appears to be replaceable uh, where you don't have to spend a lot of money to replace uh, certain parts where you can you can see the motors have bullet connectors the ESC's have bullet connectors so you can replace them one at a time with no problem now the downside to this what I've seen so far is most everything inside this quadcopter is unique to the Blade 350QX I haven't seen it anywhere else so let's get a closer look at one of those arms those motor arms and talk about it really fast okay here you have your brushless outrunner motor it's an 1100 kV motor there are the bullet connectors that I talked about your 10 amp ESC of course it's got bullet connectors here so everything on this arm is replaceable and it should be easy to do however as you can see the ESC uh, has some connections here some other wired connections these are for the LED lights that are on the end of the pod uh, so, if you decide you want to do an upgrade to your quadcopter, you're not going to have the same functionality as you did with it right out of the box. So keep that in mind. I already know that some people have been thinking about upgrading the motor or the ESC, but uh, here's a good look at it and what the challenge is if you decide to do that. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the other electronics right here. Okay, right here you have the GPS receiver with altimeter and it's wrapped in copper foil undoubtedly to block RF interference from the system itself. Here you have the GPS antenna right here. Next let's rotate the quadcopter around and take a look at the back of it. Now right there you see a little red wire and that is the antenna right there for the main circuit board. And at first, when I picked my quadcopter up, on one of the landing skids right here, you can see there was uh, there's a, something, some type of electronic circuit board here with wires going into the main board of the quadcopter. At first I thought this was a satellite antenna. Nope, later, later to find out this is the compass board for the quad. Okay, some other things to note about the quadcopter itself. On the main board, you can see here you have two plug-in uh, ports right here. This will be undoubtedly for a future gimbal mount for the 350QX that Horizon Hobby is going to come out with, I'm sure, probably by next summer, if not sooner. And I'm looking forward to that. Now, the other thing that's questionable is what this is for right here. Um, I've heard some debate over it being uh, a port for a satellite receiver or possibly future telemetry. Uh, so if anybody finds out, I'd really like to know myself. And of course you've got your standard EC3 connector right here. And let's back out just a little bit. This is your battery tray right here where your 3S 2200 milliamp hour LiPo battery will fit into the quadcopter. And that's pretty much about it with the Blade 350QX quadcopter. Now I'll leave it right here while I'm talking for the rest of the video so you can act, you can pause the video take a good look at it uh, at the electronics and whatnot anyway I hope you enjoyed this short uh, exposure of the blade 350 QX bare naked and uh, please remember to comment rate and subscribe to support my videos here on YouTube thanks a lot for watching and we'll see you later